Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we've got some very, very unhappy villagers because so many of them are hungry. We've got six hungry villagers. Taking a look at the food, also, there is not much around. He's just brought a beet out. Now, we are making beet soup if we were to get three together. I just don't know that we're going to be able to get three together. He's bringing one over, but we're going to need him them to harvest two more. And if we can get three, we can make five because we've got the magic of the beets here. So hopefully we can get enough. There's another one. Oh no, he's just eating it. Sir, I need that for soup. It's going to feed more people. It looks like there's some on the ground. So as long as our chef goes and gets that, we might be okay. Scavenging party has returned with some stone. We're just in a party out there. We need to be worried about this. I think Anbu is accepting our command. We're going to get Anbu to stop. We need to wait for this storm to go by. Then we'll get Anbu to boogie on past. But... We cannot risk getting hit by a thunderstorm. It would destroy some of our buildings. And if our buildings get destroyed, then we're not going to have the wood to replace them, which would be, well, it'd be really bad. It'd be really bad. Okay, are, is anyone getting food? Have you started cooking? You have started cooking. Do we have any spare workers? Three unemployed. What if we put another one here? I think it just makes, that should go faster. Someone can be bringing in the food, the beets, while another person is cooking. It should speed things up, hopefully. Anbu's still standing. Good job, Anbu. You're doing great, buddy. We just need this to go by. We cannot risk getting hit by this storm. Absolutely not. We just need to make people happy. It's the hungriness, though. There's still seven hungry villagers. We just don't have any food. There's one one little meal. Oh, up to three sometimes. It's not great. Okay. Can we get Anbu to start walking again? Oh, no. Okay, someone has starved to death. We have lost our very first villager. Kind of knew that was possibly coming. It's not great though. It's never great. All right, scavenging party brought back 15 stone. I'm gonna send them out to the mine. This storm has gone by enough. Anbu, go, go Anbu, go. We may have to get him to run. Ah, oh, do you have any food coming in? I think you probably do. There's some beet soup. Come on, we just need to get that done. And there's, there's more beets in the inventory, so we should be able to get there. Yes. Okay, five beet soups. If everybody who's hungry now goes and gets food, we would not have any starving people left, which would make our people a lot happier. Okay, Anbu. I don't know if Anbu's walking fast enough. Can we get Anbu to run? No, we cannot. All right. I mean, we tried. Come on, buddy. Just go a little faster because this is going to turn around fairly soon. And then we're going to be in a bad way. No. Okay. All right. People are no longer revolting. We've got just five hungry people, which means our productivity is down a bit, but that's okay. Keep going, you guys. You got this. Go get some food. There's food around. You just need to go get it. There's eight beet soups in here. Actually, having three in the kitchen has been very helpful, I think. Everybody's hungry. Can go get food. We don't have anyone homeless, do we? Total housing, 26. Total people, 25. Oh, so we were full, and then we had poor uh, Ware died, unfortunately. Uh, this is about to turn around. Anbu is in the thick of it. Scavenging party has returned with six iron ore. We're going to send them over to the quarry over here and get some more stone. We should be in a fairly good position for resources. Like the wood is coming in now because we've got the sawmill built. Uh, there's only 144 wood left there, but that's quite a bit. And stone, there, I mean, there is like stone around that could be gathered. So it's at the end of the world. There's also a tree over there. I think there was a tree down here that I saw. Yeah, over here. All right. It's okay, actually. I think we're doing okay. If we don't get hit by the storm, though. Oh, no. I feel like Anbu's going to get hit by... Anbu, can you run? Oh, no. Anbu's annoyed by our frequent commands. And he's just plain old ignoring us now. He's not hungry, so he's only at 11%. So feeding him wasn't going to help in this case. Because sometimes, you know, Anbu can get hangry. We need to kind of avoid that happening. All right. Come on, Anbu. You've got this. You got this, Anbu? I feel like you do. I feel like you do. I feel like you don't. I don't know. He's just, his tail's going to get hit by it, isn't it? Come on, Anbu. Run, you silly dinosaur, you. No? Ugh. At least we've got a bit of food now, so people are not starving anymore. We've got one hungry person, so hopefully they'll just go and get some food. And then everything will be all right. Oh, come on, Anbu. You're so close to being off of it, but that storm's just moving a little bit too fast. Come on, storm, dissipate. Oh, it's going to knock down some stuff. We're going to have to rebuild. We're not going to have the wood to rebuild. It's very bad. <laughs> no. It's coming. <laughs> okay. Well gonna happen let's see a thunderstorm sweeps over your village all right will any of our buildings get destroyed though 
is the question. And we have a decision to make. Traces of the past, petrified footprints of an onbu several meters deep. Mark the surroundings of the quarry. Okay, uh, we should follow the tracks and see where they lead us. We should investigate the tracks more closely. We do not come here to follow the tracks. Let's follow the tracks. After walking for miles, they find a huge pile of ancient hardened excrement. It's probably still a great fertilizer. Plus 30 dung. All right, I mean, that's okay. Um, the thunderstorm thing is happening. Ambu's nearly out of it. Hasn't actually broken any village, like, buildings yet? Oh, there it is. No, all of our huts, every single house. Oh, except for this one. Apparently this one was fine. <laughs> okay. Repairing them is gonna cost two wood each. That's a little unfortunate, but we obviously need to have houses. People are really unhappy when they're homeless. We're gonna need, well, we're gonna need wood still. So we're gonna put that back. Gonna maybe take some of you guys out of here. We just need people to go back to building. Gonna take you out of there. All right, well, I mean, it could have been better, but it also could have been worse. Let's send the scavenging party off over here. Although there is a settlement over there. We could have gone all the huts though. <laughs> Every single one of our huts. Oh, goodness me. I guess at least we don't have many buildings, but still, that is unfortunate. Looks like our dung collector is going to be getting built sort of soon. They're bringing over the wooden planks for that. I'm gonna need them to prioritize these though, because as long as these are broken, people will be unhappy. And unhappy people sometimes want to leave and we don't want them to leave. We kind of need them to stay here. All right, got all of these high priority. So hopefully they'll focus on that because yeah, right now they're doing the dung collector. Oh, I should maybe lower the priority on the dung collector. And what is this one? That's the trade post. It just needs stone slabs. Anbu Doctor. We actually probably should focus on the Anbu Doctor. Anbu's poison level is at 18%, which is... It's getting kind of high, I suppose. Um, Anbu Food. Do we have Anbu Food? Yeah, we've got four, so we're good for that. Our villagers are growing impatient. Right, we do technically have three spare employees. We could stick them in the town square. That would make people slightly happier, but I really need, like, those three workers. I think these are our three builders. I need them to focus on these huts. So we just need to go and get some of these other trees and things. Bring the wood over there. There's there's wood about. There's 18 pieces of wood in here. In fact, let's take somebody out of here. You can go and help build over there. Uh, yeah, the doctor's upset because he's homeless. Oh, our research is done, though. Compost heap has been researched. Let's take a look, then. Hut wouldn't be that bad, but they're very expensive. We don't have a good supply of planks and slabs at the moment. Landscaping would be okay. However, landscaping takes more wood, which we just, we don't really have. And if we look in to services, the spore distillery is something that we're gonna need soon-ish. And actually, since we have the trade post being built, the spore distillery would be quite handy so we could make some of that stuff to trade. Uh, wheat, windmill, and bakery would all be very good. We've got tons of knowledge actually, so we could go in that direction. The quarry wouldn't be bad. Oh, the tree nursery. That is what we need, right? We need a tree nursery and the forester. This one is slightly different than in the experimental version. So we need the tree nursery and we need the forester for those. So this is gonna gather saplings from nearby trees. That's tricky though, because we don't have nearby trees to gather saplings from. Um, and then we would need the forester to plant the saplings. So while I think this is going to be really important, I don't know if it's really important right now. We don't have any trees on Anbu's back to Although the sooner we start getting the trees, the better off we are. The build cost is not very expensive for this. I think we do go for these two. Maybe that one is a bit more, but we've got the research points needed for those. So I guess we'll go for it. Getting a good supply of wood would be great. Maybe we don't cut these trees down then. Keep that tree. And then there's two over here. I don't know if those would be close enough to actually have the tree nursery do anything with, but we will try. Compost heap has been researched, so I guess we could stick one over here because uh, at some point I will want that. The huts are going back in, but it's taking a while. Hamba doesn't know which way to go. Do we have somebody in the hornblower? We do. I don't know if it matters because I can see a cold snap here, which will slow down the growing. Let's go north then. Avoid the cold snap. Why not? Why not? Might as well. All right, so if Anbu is heading that way, we're going to avoid the cold snap. Oh, but we might have to worry about the small spore cloud. I think, oh, what's happening to our people? Ah, the homelessness thing. Plus some hungry. Yes, hungriness. Okay, at least this is going to start to alleviate things. I mean, people might leave though. Um, it just says we'll leave soon. I'm not sure how long until they just leave. We really need more wood being brought over. Actually, might even close both of these up temporarily. Let's just get them to come and help with these because this is really important that we just get this done. Still need to be having some wood cut down, but 
Yeah, bring some wood over here. We need to get this done. All right, hungry people need to go get food. How are we doing over here? Yeah, there, there is tons of food. There's absolutely no reason for them to be hungry. The four of them just need to go and get food. So we've got six hours left before people are going to leave. No, five hours now before five villagers would leave. That's a lot of villagers to just lose. So hopefully we can avoid that. Our scavenger party has brought back 10 stone. I might send them off to this poison forest. Oh, we could have gone into the jungle. Quite glad that we didn't actually, uh, because we'd have to worry more about Anbu's poison levels. And I don't really think we're set up for that. We don't have the Anbu doctor built yet. We haven't actually started making, I don't think, any Anbu antitoxins. Our villagers are on the brink of leaving. What can we do to make them happier? Nothing. Like, just the two hungry ones need to go and eat. So we're not getting that minus. Oh, we're not getting any minus. It's just zero. It's the homelessness. Guys, this is not my fault. We're building the houses as quick as we can. Ugh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Doesn't feel like there's anything to do. Go build a house. Stop doing that. Go build a house. You stop doing that. Go build a house. Everyone's building houses. Get the houses built. One hour remaining. Oh, we're going to lose them, aren't we? We're going to lose them. Five villagers are going to leave. Okay, it's down a little bit. We need to get it down to... Oh, we need to get it down three more still. And yeah, they're, they're going to leave. <laughs> Five villagers have left. They have lost hope. So now we need to make sure that there's actually villagers working the jobs that we need them to be working. Oh dear. Okay. Wonder which ones did leave then. Looks like these guys are still in there. All right. We've got three unemployed people, 17 idle people. I mean, I guess this is fine. Now we don't have as much homelessness. We just need one more of these houses to be rebuilt. Oh, that is so unfortunate. They just didn't build the houses fast enough. Look at all the herbs just lying. Maybe we should open this up and make some more an Anbu on antitoxins. We are going to need one, actually, because Anbu is uh, 18%. Oh, I can't believe we lost so many. And Anbu's going to lie down soon as well. If he lies down, hopefully he just lies down before this poison cloud, but ideally after the poison cloud. I don't think that's very likely. I think he's going to lie down like right now because he's at 81%. So he's going to be lying down very, very soon. We're getting to have quite a few berry bushes uh, scattered around Anbu's back, but none of them are in very large clumps to put a berry harvester down and have it make much. Like if the best one looks like right here, but it's still only 9% efficient. There's only, you can only get, I think maximum you can get is two. Oh, we went right there. We could get 13% efficiency. Uh, over here, we might be able to get, oh, we can do 13 as well over here. Kind of in the way of other things. It's not ideal yet. I feel like we'll wait for a few more berry bushes to crop up before we decide where we want to put maybe a berry gather. I think we are going to want one at some point because it's just another variety of food to have. All right, Anbu has decided to lie down. This is fine, I think. As long as he sleeps long enough that we can get past here. Our scavengers have also come back and they brought back 10 herbs, but two of them have gotten poisoned. Should be fine. I'm pretty sure we have a doctor. Yep, and we definitely have herbs about for them. So the doctor can go look after them. I think that's the doctor there. Already on their way. Cheryl. Oh, Anbu, that is a very noisy yawn, my friend. <laughs> Right, Anbu is lying down to sleep. That is just fine. We're on to day 35. So we've survived a bit. Five weeks. Five weeks on Anbu's back have been survived so far. We've got, we've lost those six people. Five who've left and one who's just starved to death. Ooh, our scavenging party, are they actually, are they fully healed? Yes. Okay. We're ready to send them back out. We'll send them to this quarry nice and close. Then we'll send them to the forest as well because we want to get some trees. And Anbu is just going to be sleeping away. I think everything is going fine. Gonna turn our... Oh, we do have some poison people though. Of course, I guess the poison is going to be coming in now though because Anbu is lying down. So we've got medium ground toxicity. So our people are going to be getting poisoned, but we've got the doctor. So hopefully that helps. Scavenging party already back with iron ore from the quarry. Uh, we'll send them off to the forest straight away. Really? I wonder... Anbu's at 67%. If we could get him to... Stand back up. Okay, he's gonna walk for us. I'd like him to walk before this small spore cloud gets to us. Oh yeah, and Anbu, oh yeah, I forgot. He wakes up hungrier. It's actually fine, we can feed him. If we just open up the feeding trebuchet. We're just gonna need to get somebody to go work there for a minute. Scavenging party is also back. I'm gonna send them down here. Oh, Elifly Circus are here. Interesting, okay, send them off. They brought back 14 wood though, scavenging party. We need a, I need a worker. We don't seem to have any available workers. Where is everybody? I guess they left, right? That's where everybody is. Maybe we'll just close the horn blower for a second. If we get the horn blower to then go work in the feeding trebuchet, we could just feed on Boo. Which would make him happier. 
The Elifly Circus, Elifly's would remove poison from Anbu in the surrounding area, but their saliva increases Anbu's heart rate. I think with Anbu's heart rate going faster, he's more likely... Oh, he's tired again. I forgot that if he doesn't sleep fully, then he gets hungrier. Um, if his heart rate's increased, he's going to be hungrier even more often, which might not be a great thing for us, but having some way to deal with his poison could be helpful. And the Elifly eggs, of course, are a way of getting food. Although research-wise, we're really far away from being able to actually harvest the elephant eggs, I think. Let's send the scavenging party out to this poison forest. They might get poisoned, uh, but they might also find something good. All right, Anbu's lying down here, which I guess is fine. When he wakes up, he's going to be hungry. Oh, that means the feeding trebuchet needs to be closed again, because of course we can't even do anything with that. Our scavenging party brought back 12 herbs, but two of them got poisoned, so we'll have to wait for them to get healed. The doctor's already going over there, though. That's nice and quick. I feel like everything's going better now our people are fine we still have some homelessness uh there that house has gone in which fixes that happiness is now much better uh scavenging party is now healed as well I could send them i guess the poison forest here there's also a quarry up there go to the poison forest though and see what we can get there's nomads here who are gonna be looking for a new home so if we could catch them when we go by that could be really good they do move quite slowly and Anbu is sleeping right now tree nursery has now been researched now, the tree in her three, it's got a very small radius, 14% efficiency there. Um, I feel like that's as best as we're gonna do. That's only 3% because you only have one tree there. So 14% looks like the best we're gonna be able to do for that. So if we want to try to get some trees, some saplings, then we're gonna need to put this in somewhere. I guess here it is. We'll just put it in 14 there. Scavenging party got back, but some people have gotten poisoned again. And they're only bringing back herbs, which is fine. Herbs are not bad. We need herbs, especially since you, people keep getting poisoned when you go out there. All right, Ombu's at 47% sleepy, so he's still going to need a bit more time. There's only 104 wood left in this. I feel like we're going to need to get ourselves set up to building another sawmill here. The sawmill is taking 10 wood planks and 10 stones. I mean, we still need so many other things. The trade post would be really important to get up and running again. We've got lots of stone on and around right the scavenging party is all healed up so we can send them back out i guess to this quarry way over here just tick time on a little bit faster again had slowed it down there for a minute yeah we've got a few poisoned people but i think our doctor should be able to take care of it it's just quite busy having to walk all over the place we are actually filled up on water i haven't actually built any storage oh and our villagers needs have increased to three that is a little challenging that's definitely a little challenging because they are not particularly easy to keep happy with no decoration and then there's just no food variety either. Everybody brought back six iron ore. There's nowhere else for me to send them at the moment. Oh, there's a quarry. Oh, that's already scavenged way over there. That one's also scavenged. Yeah, nothing else that we can see as long as Anbu is sleeping. I guess we could close this up and then we'd have two spare workers who could just help maybe harvest some of this stone or whatever else is out there. Definitely lots of stone around. We'll just close it off until Anbu wakes up, then we can open up again. There's definitely workers for unemployed people to, or work for unemployed people to do. And actually, we didn't have anyone unemployed before, so there was nobody doing any building. At least now we've got two people going back out and doing some building. Right, looks like Anbu's waking up and he's feeling more hungry, of course. So I think we can just feed him though. If I open up the eating trebuchet, one of our workers can go in there. Oh, and we've got two Anbu antitoxins. I think I'm gonna close this off for now, the Anbu pharmacy. Having those two sounds good. We don't even have our Anbu doctor built yet. We're gonna to need to focus on that very soon. But we do need to get Anbu fed because he's at 53%, which means he actually needs two. Now, just because we walk over this, does he get the fleas? Like, is there a way to avoid it? No, okay. We do have Ella fleas now. There's two up here. Oh no, not Anbu with fleas. Oh, and there's two here as well. All right, that's gonna make his heart rate go up, which means I think he just gets hungry faster. We fed him a bit, we need to feed him some more. Our trade post has been constructed. So now we just need a trader to come and we can hopefully get some items that we need, but we're gonna need to sell things that we don't need, which is a little tricky. I think, oh, I don't know. What are we working on at the moment? Forester, right? Yes, okay. After the forester, I mean, we do need the evaporator and the fishery. We do need the wheat, the windmill, and the bakery. Uh, I think, though, the next thing is spore distillery. And it doesn't cost any research, so let's go for that. And then I might do the wheat after. But the trade post being constructed could be really helpful. We might be able to sell some things we don't need and hopefully get some things we do need. Oh, we missed these nomads by quite a bit. That's a little unfortunate. Oh, I need my scavenging party back up and running. 
don't know if we've got the people for it. I'd say we have maybe enough water. I'm going to close this air well for a little while. We're still going to have two open. That's going to give us the people we need for our scavenger hut. Oh, the Anbu doctor's also been made and a trader has arrived. So the Anbu doctor, close that off for just now. The trader, let's take a look and see what kind of things do they have? Oh, we could buy stone slabs and knowledge. Don't think we need that, but stone slabs would be helpful. Tree saplings would also be kind of interesting because we could start planting those sooner. But what would we sell? I mean, we had a lot of water. We've got quite a few mushrooms at the moment. I mean, the herbs, we can always get more of those as well. Oh, that's really tricky. I think, I don't know. Do we want to get the tree saplings? That seems a bit crazy, doesn't it? Or is it not? Is it crazy to not get them? I don't know. What if we did five of those and then we sold some mushrooms? We have to sell quite a lot of mushrooms. 40 mushrooms for five stone planks or stone slabs rather. Do we need that? Is that helpful? Does that make a difference? Is mushrooms where we want to be selling things? Salt, you don't do a lot of things with salt in this version. I feel like that's the other version. I mean, there's the like borscht, but we're really far away from that gourmet kitchen. So we could go for the salt. What if we sold all the salt, salt and then we buy 10 of these? So we'd have 10 tree saplings, five stone slabs. We're just getting rid of all of our salt. We're getting rid of like half of our mushrooms. Is that insane? It feels a little insane. We're doing it anyways. I don't think we need the salt right now. Cold snap, not ideal, but we can deal with it. On booze, poison levels are going down, I think because of the elephleys. There's nothing we can do about the elephleys at the moment. There's nothing we can even do about their eggs, actually. Go to on booze. We're going to need the pest control. We need that pretty quickly, actually. Okay, hopefully that's going to help. This hopefully won't be too long. Anbu's not going to hang around in here either. We could send our scavenging party back out. They brought back 18 salt. So is that more salt that we have again? Yeah, we had 20. We got rid of 20. They got back as 18. Great. <laughs> we'll go over here. Then there's also a forester here. Do we have anyone in the horn blower at the moment? Yes, we do. So which way do we want to go? We could continue going north, but we'd have another cold snap to contend with. Or we could go south. There's a comfy sleeping spot for Anbu. He doesn't really need it, but it wouldn't hurt. Oh, there's a thunderstorm that way, though. I kind of think avoid the thunderstorm. Oh, we'd be going into the jungle. I'm going to say go into the jungle. Anbu doesn't trust your commands. Anbu will go wherever Anbu wants to go, apparently. That's fine. Scouting probably about five iron ore. We'll send them out to this forest. See which way Anbu goes. The trader has left. That's fine. Anbu's not trusting our commands. I mean, we've, we've kept him from getting too hungry. The forester is now here, so we want to plant those tree saplings. I think we want to plant the tree saplings near to this, because that's going to make that more efficient, which is in turn going to make this more efficient, maybe? There's a lot of berries over here, though. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Gouging party brought back 13 wood already. There's a mine over here. Anbu has chosen to go the way we were telling him to go anyways. So we're avoiding that thunderstorm, which is good, but we're back in another cold snap. Going to be heading into the jungle in a second, though, which means our crops will be fine. They'll actually be all better. We need more people, though. I feel like that's our current problem. Losing those five was not ideal. It was never going to be ideal, though. No poison at the moment that we could close the village doctor up in hopes of getting some other things done. Ah, and we do actually have someone now doing the dung collecting which I guess is also a good thing. Scavenging parties brought back five iron ore. I'm gonna send them off to this quarry waiver. Oh, there was a settlement there. I wonder if we'll be able to get that. Anbu's now entered the jungle biome, which I think means everything's just working better. Even like these are working better. People are poisoned though. Oh, people are poisoned. Ah, the jungle. The jungle has like a low level of constant poison. Right, I need a worker. Ah, close this sawmill until this sawmill's done. Anbu's found some food, which means we don't need the feeding trebuchet, which is fine. Scavenging party is like almost done. Then we'll send them over to this rune settlement. Hopefully get that rune settlement as well. Maybe find some more people. As far as housing goes, we have housing for six more. Yeah, and Anbu's full. Although he is 68% sleepiness, I think he'll sleep over here on the Anbu sleeping spot, which is a very good spot for him to sleep. Oh, we're going to lose that ruined settlement, though, I'm pretty sure. But there is the second one, so maybe we'll be able to get that one. These elephleys I'm a bit concerned about, though, especially once they start laying eggs. We're going to end up having so many of them. But Anbu's poison is now completely down to, well, 1%, but basically zero, which is actually maybe really helpful having the four elephleys, which probably don't want any more than that. Anbu hungers at 0%, which is great. He's just really tired. But as long as he gets to here and sleeps, it should be okay. Our spore distillery has now been researched. Oh, nobody wants to be near the poor spore distillery. I kind of forgot about that. We'll just put it over here with the rest of these things that no one wants to be near. Scavenging party back, back 13 stone. Yes, we can still go to this ruined settlement. 
that's quite a ways away, but hopefully Umber will sleep here long enough that we can also go to that settlement. They'll get back, then we can send them off there. Everything feels like it's going just fine. I think we have averted any sort of crisis with our Anbu here. We had starving people, some of them left. We had homeless people, it was not good. But Anbu is perfect. Look how healthy he is. He's not hungry, he's just tired and we're coming up to a sleeping spot. I think life is going fairly well. We are surviving. This is the end of day 44. Absolutely amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.